Hello everybody, it's uh, Peter of England here, um, giving you probably a much, uh, a much awaited update on the, the state of uh, Freeman Legal Services and uh, We Are Bank. I'm sorry that the update's taken uh, a bit longer than I anticipated, but there's a lot of work being done in the background and the, uh, the main points um, that we emphasized in the previous uh, video on uh, debt assumption are still very much in place. For those of you uh, who have uh, actually been to the blog and visited the blog, you can see that we did put the uh, eight-step program uh, online so that you would actually know how to make a, uh, uh, a, uh, a preemptive uh, preparation for your paperwork prior to you submitting that to Freeman Legal Services. And those eight steps are, are on the at Freeman Legal Services uh, blog spot and uh, also on uh, the website. Now, what we're going to do uh, at the moment is uh, to, just to give you a little bit of an idea of, of where we've gone uh, since we last spoke. And the main things really that I want to emphasize to you is that the principle behind the debt assumption is a transference of your... your um, so-called uh, credit agreement that you have with the creditor, whether it's the loan company or the mortgage company or uh, the bank, um, that you have the right to transfer that energy corridor from them to Freeman Legal Services. Many of you have questioned whether um, what the, the actual legal aspect uh, of it is and whether it's so-called illegal. Or legal. Uh, the problem that you have and that you should be aware of here is that the original debt contract that you have been welded into is the illegality. Um, the contract that they had you sign into was impossible from day one under a very simple equation which is P is less than P plus I. So the principal that you are asked to pay is always a smaller percentage than the principal plus the, plus the interest. So what that means is that some of you somewhere were always destined to become bankrupt and not able to apply the repayments on the loan. And the banking system, the banking cartel is fully aware of this. Plus the uh, main part of this um, the rationale and the legality of what you do, of transferring your, your uh, payments of energy to Freeman Legal Services and Weir Bank, comes specifically out of a, a basic tenet of contract law that if there is major misrepresentation in the contract, that you have the right to rescind that contract because of misrepresentation. This is also included in the Misrepresentation Act in the UK and many pieces of legislation globally. So the bottom line here is don't, don't get into some um, um, strange psychological uh, ping pong game in your head saying, well, can I do it? Can I not do it? Is it legal? Is it not legal? The bottom line is you have the right to do it, therefore do it. Um, no matter what the creditor so-called states to you, um, you have the right to unpick yourself from this unlawful and illegal banking cartel arrangement whereby your energy has been stolen from you. You're just diverting it now across to We Are Bank and Freeman Legal Services. Also, the next question, many of you have asked how Freeman Legal Services will get paid and how We Are Bank will make its money from these transactions. Uh, don't concern yourself too much with that for now, but the bottom line is that in the bank's vaults, if you imagine two safes, in one safe they have all their, their, their money, their physical paper money and coin. That must have a value of, let's say, 200 million. Now, they would also have another vault where all their documents are stored concerning their loans and their credit agreements and their mortgages. What would you imagine the value of that vault to be? Bear in mind that a banking uh, organization, its assets are not its cash on reserve, but its debt. The loans and the credit agreements are its chief assets. 
And if you look into the world's monetary supply, what actually passes as money, only 5% is coin and paper. 95% of it is, is a debt of another nature, or bank money, or bank ledger money, or checkbook money. So these are the things that you are needing to take into account when you, you try and wonder whether this, this new uh, attempt at uh, the debt jubilee or the debt uh, rearrangement program can work. So that's really where we're, we're up to, to today. Um, the, the frauds that are perpetrated within the original contract range from a mortgage agreement with a power of attorney secretly enclosed within it through fraud, fraud under colour of law, fraudulent concealment and fraudulent misrepresentation. These things combined give us, Freeman Legal Services, the ability to engineer successfully any claim that the major creditors have against you. And so for now, uh, the site, that's as much as I think we'll say for now, the site will be online within the next two weeks and uh, we will put forms on there so that you can fill them in and give uh, um, physical documents to us uh, at a PO box or uh, an address probably in the UK um, in due course. So thank you very much. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and pass this on to your friends. Thank you.